All right. Welcome. My name is Adam Granger. And my name is Jackie Maddox, Lady J. And, and this is the St. Anthony Park 4th of July Parade. We're here at the beautiful corner of Como and Carter on the beautiful veranda of Nico's Taco Bar on Como. Beautiful place. Uh, they've been here for about a year. It used to be called Muffaletta's. Now it's Nico's Taco Bar on Como, and we're having a good time this Thursday afternoon, 80 degrees on the way up to 88 degrees as we get ready to watch the parade in beautiful St. Paul this Thursday, the 4th of July. Yes, indeed, and the parade is just beginning. It's proceeding down Como Avenue, coming from the west, uh, right about Como and Doswell is where it started, if you want to look up uh, in your map quest and see where this parade takes place. And it proceeds east for about six blocks uh, down to Langford Park. Uh, right now, the parade is beginning. The siren that you're hearing is the St. Paul Police Department with a color guard following behind. Uh, the police car. It's one of the older cars, too, I might point out. I know they got the new little slick little SUVs that ride around, but this is one of the older police cars with, that are instantly recognizable as a cop car. The Crown Vic. Crown Vic. There yeah. you go. Thank you. And we have a full dress Marine color guard coming in behind them. And now I mentioned full dress because of the heat and the humidity. Yeah. We're at 71% humidity, and yet these Marines are dressed in dress blues, yeah. including the white hat. Uh, if anyone is uh, remembering what your Marine Corps uniforms look like, they're in full dress. This is the uh, Como Park High School Junior ROTC color guard, uh, one of the few high schools that still has our ROTC program in it. These kids look quite serious, so you know they're going to go on to officer training and, and move on into the military. After the Como Park High School ROTC Color Guard, we have 4th of July coordinators. Yeah, there's Josh Becerra in the uh, fancy suit. He dresses like that every day of the year, folks. Every day? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, very uh, nice. Well, you got to acknowledge them. Long. It takes a lot of yep. work to put together something like this. Yeah, right. They do a, do a great job at putting this thing together. Sunrise Banks right behind that. Then uh, MTech. And then we have what I would call the, the wheelchair guard from St. Anthony Park Home. It's a home for seniors. Your mother was there, wasn't she? She we was, uh, 2002. Before. before she passed away, my mom had to spend some time in a nursing home, and she was there at St. Anthony Park Home. They took excellent, splendid care of her, so I, I definitely want to send a shout out to them. We're looking at a bunch of folks in wheelchairs as they're coming by. Uh, I'm glad it's a little bit overcast for them so they can get in and out before the sun hits really hard. Yeah, they'll, they'll come down uh, further a block, uh, about two, two blocks uh, further east, and then they'll uh, peel off and get into their air conditioning there. Good for them. But it's wonderful that they decided to come out. Wow, there's quite a few. Large contingent this year. Wow, there's I, a lot of folks in wheelchairs getting out and getting their fresh air for the day. I've seen this parade for about 32 years, Jackie, so uh, wow. I have a pretty good perspective on sizes of contingents, and this is as large a group as I've seen from the home, from the uh, St. Anthony Park home. So. It, they're, and they're still coming. Look, way up there, Adam, still more wheelchairs. Amazing. They cleared out the building. And that's a good thing. These folks are getting their fresh air. They're out for the 4th of July, getting some sunlight, and then get back just in time for lunch. This is a wonderful presence in the community as one who lives in the neighborhood here. It's, it's wonderful to have uh, this facility there and, and the, uh, the, the humanity that it brings and the, the, uh, the seniors. And they're uh, waving balloons. They got their red, white, and blue balloons, so everybody knows they're out to celebrate the 4th of July. Quite a few folks with them are dressed in 4th of July clothing, representing, as they say, St. Anthony Park Home, which is right around the corner from where we're sitting right now. We're right across from the Emily program, we're right across from the mobile gas station, and we're right across from uh, the Finnish Bistro on Carter and Como. That's right. And to, our, uh, to our right, uh, north of us, is the old Carnegie Library, uh, the St. Anthony Park Library, uh, which has been kept beautifully. 
And now coming up. That big old structure is a library? No, no, back to the right, back behind you. Oh, my other right. <laughs> yeah. That big old structure is, uh, is, is condos that were just built recently and almost all populated by local uh, residents who have moved out of their house and decided they wanted to have smaller footprint to their, to their living. Well, I'm a, a big fan of libraries. That's why I try to keep track of all of my libraries. I love them all. The St. Paul Public Library has been very, very good to me. Yes. You get books, you can get uh, DVDs, as I do, and you get a lot of really class service working with the folks at the library. Wow, here we go. Now, now we got some music coming down. Uh, this is the Pig's Eye Jazz Band. Uh, they've been around forever. They've marched in this parade or ridden in this parade every year. And, and they're uh, calling it Jazz with, uh, with S's, J-A-S-S. -S, yeah. The Pig's Eye Jazz Band. Yeah, there's Gordy Myers on the bass, on the drums there. Oh, wow. He nodded <laughs> to me, gave us a nod, a heads up. Yes, he did. Gary Marshall uh, playing the key, uh, the stringed instrument there. Very nice, very nice. Looks like we got some Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and brownies, brownies. following behind them. No and cookies though, not this time of year. And looks like they, uh, their parents talked them into letting them come along there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they're dressed in uniform too, which is a, a kudos to them on a warm day like today. And Cub Scout Pack 22 has been in the park for many, many years, and they this is a tradition that they bring their large scaffolding, and I should know what it's called, but I don't. Uh, they bring that, and uh, this is taller this year than it's been in past years. Uh, uh, Boy Scout Troop 17. Uh, yeah, that's a Boy what, Scout. And yeah. what, uh, is it, what does it represent? What is the scaffolding? That's a good question. Uh, if it was the one from last year, I could have told you, but I, I don't <laughs> recognize this structure. Well, it, it must have something to do with uh, calisthenics or... Climb. Oh, no, there's an eagle's nest because you can see the ladder climbing up. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, always being prepared and going uh -huh. out camping. Uh -huh. Well, they're the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts, and I recommend uh, all young people to be part of an organization like that. It builds uh, not just uh, a camaraderie, but uh, self-esteem for young people. And here we have the other, uh, the opposite end, uh, age-wise, from the uh, uh, home, the uh, St. Paul... Uh, uh, cooperative preschool, uh, which is located up in the uh, Methodist Church right up the street. Isn't us it here. cute? Look at the little kids. <laughs> One's dressed in her superhero outfit, the preschool. Well, that's kind of back to what I was saying earlier, that uh, St. Paul has all this culture squished into it, and I'm glad that on a day like today we get to parade our diversity. Yes. And what we just did, from our preschool to our senior citizens. Yeah. Now, next is uh, the essay contest winners. These are patriotic essays, and the winners uh, get to read them later on in Langford Park at the, uh, at the band show there. It's not a band show. It's actually, what do they call it? I, I don't remember now. But there's a... Uh, well, we know what that word means, Banshee. All us old folks, we know what you're saying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Outdoor atrium or whatever it's called now. And they're being driven by uh, the by a truck from uh, Mobile, from Park Service, which is our local gas station across the street, Kitty Corner, from where we're looking here. And they're being followed by uh, classic cars. Wow, they look fabulous. Look at these cars. Uh... I, can't, I don't know the years of any of these, but all I know is they're old, just like I am. <laughs> There's that old, uh, my goodness, that's a very interesting view. That's, uh, that's San Anthony Park. Now, these, uh, so they're the essay winners. Okay. Look, oh. And then there's the, the principal. Uh, principal Karen Duke from uh, San Anthony Park. St. Anthony Park Elementary, which is where both of my children went to school. Oh, very good. Driving oh, in an old Jeep. Well, it looks like we have some furries. There's is your son furries. one of them? My oh, son my is goodness. One of them. If you look at the uh, the orange one, walking That's a fox. That's and my son, Austin. He's, the, he's dressed like a fox? Yeah, he's the fox. Oh, my God. They have got to be sweltering in they those outfits. Sweltering. I had, they were at the house before the parade, and I had them uh, tank up on water. There's a 1964 Mustang. Oh my 
goodness. I can't get over the furries. Look at them. There's like seven of them, and they're dressed in full animal outfits, folks. Too bad they're not uh, hams at all, isn't it? Look at them. Look at them mugging And there. they're dancing in full fur outfits. We have a, a, looks like an orange fox, and then we have a badger, maybe, on the other side there. Uh, uh, that's another fox on the, on the far uh, end. Another fox, and on then the we have a, a leopard. Yeah. With the, with the paws. He's waving at his dad. I told him where we'd be, and I told him to wave. There they go. Very nice. They got to be very, very warm dressed like they are. We're sitting at 80 uh, degrees here. We're in, uh, on the way up to 88, so it might even be closer to 85 degrees now. There's the Jack Brass Band. Right on. Them. Very good. You know, this parade's moving right along, too. The music. I wish they'd stopped for a minute and played a little more. Now here, here comes some of our uh, our politicians. Looks like that's John Broderick already moving on his way down. This uh, this parade School has always board. had an honest, uh, good, large contingent of uh, politicians, it, it, which is kind of required for a uh, for a. Uh, Fourth of July parade, I think. Well, it's also required for a hometown parade. Yes. And that's the, one of my pleasures of St. Paul's. We try to maintain our hometown status. Yes. I know our founding fathers keep trying to uh, expand our repertoire and turn us into the Minneapolis, but we're St. Paul. We're a small town. I think we need to embrace it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's Mary Vandewart, who's one of our school board members, and another, where's John Schumacher? George Sh John Schumacher. He might have go uh, gone by already. We're, we're up to uh, St. Paul school board member Zuki Ellis. Uh-huh. Oh, is that a 57 Chevy? Oh, my. A 56, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa, look at you. With different you know. fins. Well, I'm guessing. Well, I don't know. I don't know. All I know <laughs> is I like it. And those are the cars that were around when I was born. That's all I know. Now, here's the uh, coming up here, and speaking of cars, is the unsafe at any speed mobile. That's a Corvair there. <laughs> and that was the one that had the engine in the back, and uh, Ralph Nader wrote his book, Unsafe at Any Speed, about these cars. And so they, You're cars, kidding. No, so they've become con collector's items. Uh, well, they're moving slowly so folks can get pictures and, and get a, uh, a, and savor, savor the experience of seeing these. <laughs> I haven't, we haven't been able to see who's who's in this car yet. Well, Tony Carter is supposed to be in that one, and there she is. There she is, I see her. Ramsey okay. County Commissioner, District mm -hmm. 4, Tony Carter. Uh -huh. There she is, waving. She's got a baseball cap on. Uh -huh. No, that's not Tony. No, and I've made my first mistake. That's not day. Tony. There's Tony walking behind. There she is walking. She got out of the car. She's yeah. walking behind. She's there she is. She's not going to ride. And that's she's not riding. She's showing. <laughs> and letting and everybody a, know she's here. Right on, Tony. There's an old Ford Thunderbird. Alice Houseman. Oh, the, oh yeah. my God. Look at that beautiful green. Yeah, that's... Uh, what would you call that? Chartreuse? What well, is that color? I don't know, but it's not the original shade. I can tell that because they didn't... They didn't, they didn't those have those colors, colors in those days. <laughs> but they got as close as they could get. Alice Houseman. Now, we should have our mayor coming by here any minute. <laughs> Boy, Mitra's got a large... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what the, uh, what the eagle represents. It might just be... Let's see if there's any sort of... I think the enclosed uh, uh, sneak mobile, I'll call it. Is that our St. Paul mayor hiding out in the uh, limousine there? <laughs> Well, we have a giant eagle going by as well. Lots of politicians. But, you know, like I said, it's important for a hometown event to have our hometown founding fathers as part of it. Yes, indeed. So the United Base, Prospect Park United Methodist Church, PPUMC, is next with a very small contingent this year. Now, how many years did you say this parade's been happening? I was trying to remember. Um, it goes back to, I think, the 30s or 40s. It oh, goes my way goodness. Back. Oh. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize this community was that old. I was looking in my history of St. Anthony Park, and they had pictures of the parade, but they didn't specify when it started. But it, it goes way back. Way now, that was, back. Uh, so you've seen a lot of these businesses come and go that indeed. are a part of this event today. Now, this is the Bell Museum contingent here. We, the Bell Museum just rebuilt. Uh, and then, oh, the St. Paul Magic. There are the uh, okay. Olympic team, Special Olympics, St. Paul yeah. Magic. 
I like that. Uh, the same part match. Yeah. yeah. Looks like uh, some of the young people are handing out uh, candy. Uh, no, uh, no lays this year, though. I see. Usually they have that the necklaces. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> Transition Town invited people to to make uh, solar panels out of aluminum oh, foil and cardboard. Oh, that's what the foil is. Oh, very <laughs> Bring nice. Them out. This is the foil. first time they've done this. This is very <laughs> funny. Very, very nice. <laughs> Well, up the street, it looks like we have a few more musicians coming down the street as well. Here. Yeah, yeah, we got uh, the Como Avenue Jug Band. But here's the State Fair. There's the the mascots for the State Fair. And oh, the the Gophers. Uh, I know these aren't Goldie. These aren't the Golden Gophers. No, these are the these State, are the fair, State gophers. fair Gophers. I don't know. Again, dressed up in in full costume, folks, in this warm. 71 degree humidity, uh, but they're out there, they're partying, they're dancing with people, getting pictures taken with people, representing the Minnesota State Fair. So yeah, St. Anthony Park butts up against the State Fairgrounds, so uh, we f have a close connection to the State Fair. and uh, uh, It also butts up against the St. Paul, uh, Paul campus of the uh, University of Minnesota. Yes, it the does. The agricultural campus. My sister used to stay in housing right over there uh -huh. on the St. Paul campus, so I'm familiar with that too. And also with the fact that Larpenure runs into Hennepin, so yes. I would take that back street to get into Minneapolis. Uh -huh. It was the back way. It was the yeah, secret that's way. Right. The, the secret, secret way, way into Minneapolis. Yeah. Here's the, uh, the jug band. The Como Park jug band. Uh, the uh, Como Avenue <laughs> Band, and they're dancing and partying, <laughs> having themselves a good old time. Yeah, too bad they're not having fun, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Smiles all the way oh, around. I wish it was louder so folks could hear them. <laughs> Como Avenue Jug Band. That jug needs a needs a pickup on it. Yeah, it so does. They can hear it a little a better. Microphone. <laughs> Up next, uh, Spirit of the Park honorees. Tim, Tim Fax and Tom Spiegel. And Tom Spiegel. Oh, Tim you and know Tom. Them. Yeah, Tim and Tom uh, own the Speedy Market, and uh, right up the street here, our little, our little. And they uh, too are in food. a classic car. Look at yeah. that thing. That's a 1960 Man. Chevrolet. Man, look at that car. 59. 59. I just corrected. <laughs> but part, pardon me, 59. Fabulous. Look at that red thing. Lipstick red. Now that is an original color. That car was parked in the garage across the street from my house, and they came and pulled it out of there at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning. And there you and go. So I said, I know where that's going. It's to the parade. the parade. We are sitting at the corner of Carter and Como in St. Anthony Park, a beautiful little neighborhood in St. Paul, Minnesota. We're enjoying the 4th of July parade. I'm Jackie Maddox, Lady J, for SPNN and for KFAI. I know um, Adam Granger, also from KFAI. Adam's here with me, my co-host today. We are both uh, alumni of both organizations, radio and television, coming to you this beautiful, beautiful day. Well, here's the Park Bugle. The Park Bugle uh, is our local uh, newspaper. I write for the Park Bugle. I've, I do uh, about six pieces a year, just local color pieces, just interest, whatever I feel like writing about. Uh, it's a fabulous paper, and it's uh, one of our better, one of the Metro's better uh, uh, regional or community newspapers. The, the favorite Bugle. Newspapers. Uh, the Park B -U Bugle. Yeah, B-U-G-L-E, so yeah, like yep. a bugle that you hold in your hand. Yep. Yep. This is the bugle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Foxy Mama from the Finnish, the Finnish Bistro. It has its own car, and uh, that's a Foxy Mama holding a fox. Yeah, this, the, <laughs> there's the owner of the Finnish Bistro there. That's, She's holding a fox, uh -huh. the Foxy Mama. I didn't Very know nice. she owned a fox. Well, she's got one in her hand, <laughs> or, or it's a dog. It's a dog that looks like it. Moms Demand Action coming up next. Uh, it looks like they're passing by our cameras right now. Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. So I, I, it's probably a faction of uh, Moms Against uh, War as well. And right before them, uh, if you, in case you missed, was uh, Healing Elements, uh, this Healing Elements contingency. They're, uh, they have a facility here in the neighborhood as well. Well, I think the two yeah, things go a, together because moms are all about healing as well. Yeah. So a, if you're against gun uh, violence, you're you're for healing. That's what I say. 
Protect kids, that's what these signs are saying. In gun violence, I'm with you on that. Right on, folks. Now, there's... Oh, and now we have our cops on bikes. I love seeing the cops, the policemen on bicycles. Mm -hmm. They and really seem to be a part of the community when you see them out on bikes. And it wouldn't be a parade without a large gap. And that's what we've got <laughs> right here is a large gap. Mark Brancell is coming by on his uh, unicycle. Uh, there he and is juggling. And he's got juggling. a baton? A couple of yeah. batons. Yeah, he's, he's uh, not juggling. Yeah, he's just he, he does uh, the sticks back and forth. He's a physician here at... Uh, at Health Partners, which is another uh, right there on that on the unicycle, he's a he's a doctor by day, unicyclist yeah. by night. Right, <laughs> fabulous. See, that's what I'm saying about St. Paul. Who knew? When you see him in his office in his doctor clothes, who knew he does things like this? Right. It's a part of the culture and the fabric of St. Paul and St. Anthony Park. Now the motorcycle, I mean the lawnmower brigade. Uh, now uh -oh. I know lots of, of parades have lawnmower brigades, but St. Anthony Parks, uh, you know, these people begin, begin practicing for next year's tomorrow. So, no, I'm just kidding. They, they, don't, <laughs> they don't really practice 364 days a year, but, but there they are doing their routines. And Let's they, see if they do the figure eight. And these are push mowers, folks, not your riding yeah. electronic mowers. No, these those, are those lawn are mowers that are the old-fashioned push mowers. <laughs> and they're doing... Uh, oh, here we go. It looks like they're doing some kind of choreography in the middle of the street here with their lawn mowers. And they're all bedecked for the 4th of July. Here's the St. Anthony Park United Church of Christ up on, uh, up on uh, uh, Commonwealth. Uh, I do concerts there every other year or so. It's a wonderful church, great acoustics, wonderful venue, and a, a great congregation, a really well, fabulous it, congregation. It, it's the kind of thing that uh, keeps our communities together, and that's what we need. Here's Cartatai after them. Oh, my. Uh, Cartatai is, is right up on the corner of Doswell and Como Kitty Corner from Tim and Tom's Speedy Market, where Tim and Tom, you saw them in the back of the 59 Chevy earlier and they're, they're dressed in semi uh traditional clothing uh -huh. they have the t-shirts to advertise the business but their lower half are uh, traditional thai clothing uh -huh. fabulous food fabulous food they've been open about just about a year and a half now Carta thai. langford park hockey well we got the hockey uh langford park hockey Wow, look at this tractor. Now that's an old fashioned tractor. But you know, Minnesota, most of it is still a, quite an agricultural community. Uh, we still have our culture that's really farm based and we're proud of it. And just to orient you again, we're, that you're, what you're viewing is uh, cars coming, uh, the, the parade heading eastward down Como Avenue. And we are located at Carter and Como in Nico's Taco Bar. Uh, on their uh, deck, and the parade heads about another three blocks to our east and ends in Langford Park. Here comes a little... So they're passing the intersection of Como and Raymond, in case anyone is interested. And here's John Marty, who never looks any older. He never, <laughs> never looks any older. <laughs> in a BMW. He's got that, he's got that painting in his, in his attic, I think. <laughs> but look at that car. What is that? It's a BMW. Uh, it's one of the newer ones, yes, though, right? Yes, it is yeah. a new car, yeah. John Marty, yeah. state senator John Marty. <laughs> well, you know what? He's always been a part of the community, and I, I love that he comes out. No, I, I agree. Uh, Julie Blaha is next. Um, she's our state auditor. And this is an old, if, okay, now you, somebody's going to correct me on this, but I'm going to say that's a 53 Corvair. Well, you know your cars. Well, I don't know. I, All I know is it's wonderful. I got sense, the, I got schooled time, on the 59 uh, <laughs> Chevy, so I don't know. <laughs> well, the time, effort, and money it takes for these folks to restore these cars, uh -huh. they need all the air time they can get. This thing is beautiful. That's an original color. You can tell. That's an original. That looks like uh, the 60s for sure. And John Choi coming up, our, uh, An our another, county attorney. Yeah, he's another good one to hang yes, out in the is. community. Yes, he I, is. I love him. Uh, Ramsey County Attorney John Choi. He's, uh, he's out. His car is not a uh, vintage car, but he's still out in a convertible so folks can see him, see what he looks like, yep. and understand what it is that he does for the community. 
Luther Seminary next. Uh, Luther Seminary is uh, kind enough to let the parade use its uh, to use, <laughs> use their parking lot as a uh, staging and uh, beginning point every year. And Luther Seminary is another of the institutions which is part of and borders uh, St. Anthony Park. Now, Light of the Moon Trio is uh, coming up on the back of this uh, of this flatbed here. Oh, this look at them. Mike That's Keys fabulous. And, uh, and Nick Jordan. And looks like Miko. All local musicians. Oh, good. We get to hear them. They're amplified. Isn't that yeah. nice? They thought to bring their amplifiers. Well, you know, in past years they haven't been loud enough. And I think finally this year they said, let's uh, let's get some firepower out there. So and they are the light <laughs> of the moon trio, yeah. folks. Representing wow. St. Anthony Park. <laughs> no shoes, none of them. <laughs> They're fully dressed without shoes. One of those guys <laughs> is an attorney, one's a prof professor at the university. <clears throat> and Fred Alone's hardware store, a relatively new uh, resident of uh, St. Anthony Park. Uh, they're midway down between uh, Carter and uh, Doswell on the, on the south side of Como Avenue. So we just they just drove past their their own store there, Fred Loans and in a beautiful of truck. Woods. Beauti beautiful. Uh, looks like we've got the uh, oh. Hanson Tree Farm coming but, up. But first is. Oh, the K, oh. the Murray class of 1944. <laughs> and I bet that's a 1944 car they got there. Look at the Let's year. Let's see what it is. That's a nice old car. Look at that, cherry red. Looks like the Friends of Breck Woods. Lady dressed up as a tree. I bet she's got shade, though, doesn't she? <laughs> Breck Woods, save Breck Woods. Hear the bird song. This is a... a there's sort of a semi-political <laughs> thing going on here with Save the Breck Woods. I won't go into detail. Okay, you can look well, it up they if can look it up, yeah, that's right. Are interested, but it's can. nice to see the greenery go by. <laughs> uh huh. Especially since they're right in front of the tree farm. They're right in front of the Hanson Tree yeah. Farm. Hanson's are, are local residents here. They've been here forever, and uh, they've always had a, a really nice flow. They're very nice people. It's a wonderful, wonderful business. And uh, right behind them, representing now, McAllister, is the Bagpipe Band. But you know something? I got a secret to tell you, Adam. Don't tell anybody. I love bagpipes. Uh, do you? I love bagpipes. <laughs> there's uh, well, something melancholy and forlorn about the sound, I agree. and I just love to hear it. They're dressed in full kilt, representing the clan, and they're representing McAllister. Now after That's that a is, lady uh, bagpiper in the middle. Now I've never seen that before. Uh -huh. Behind nice. them is, is my friend Mikey O'Connor, who's driving a solar-powered. Uh, what do we got here? Two bagpipes and a snare, in full kilt, folks, with the shoes, with the knee-high socks, with the the fezes. I don't know what else you'd call the hat. They gotta be warm. And right behind them. Yeah, zero, zero carbon, solar powered. Mikey O'Connor with his wife Marcy sitting in the back. And I don't know who's sitting in the front. I don't recognize her. Can't have a parade without the fire engine. And it's followed by children as it always is. Look at this nice, nice fire truck. Uh, fires from station 20. Right up the way here, right up on Como. We have our own fire department. <laughs> We, we, th we think of it as ours. Uh, well, it, well, it is. It's right in the neighborhood. Right that's across, what people think of it as. Yeah, right across Como from the, uh, from the fairgrounds. Oh, uh, look at this. Very nice. Flashing lights, waving to the kids. You know, and it's important that the, the children know when they see this truck coming, get out of the way for one thing. But mm -hmm. for another, they're coming to help. They're coming to help. Get out of the way. Let them do their job. Here's the rope holders, and then kids on bikes. This is a tradition of the St. Anthony Park uh, July 4th parade. That uh, At the end of the parade, everyone, do uh, you see how they're all decorated? Uh, I did this with both my kids. 
They are the uh, day before you spend getting fourth, crepe fourth, paper. And fourth of July appropriately decorated. Yes, uh, <laughs> that's right. Look at these kids, uh, boys and girls. I'd say none of these kids are over 10 years old. Probably not. And then uh, a few... With, with uh, parents, though, so none of you few. folks need to be alarmed. Children with their parents uh, riding down the street on their bikes, and it's uh, a whole contingent called kids on bikes. And if the camera is still uh, 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 showing up west up uh, Como, notice how this, the crowd just sort of folds into the parade at the end. Everyone is going to walk down to Langford Park, and these people will all follow them, and they'll sort of pour into Langford Park, where people have uh, staked out their uh, little plot of land. Uh, most of them the night before, they come down and put down their uh, easy ups or whatever, and uh, then they spend the day in Langford Park, and there's all sorts of activities there. So in other words, the spectators have now become participants as we wrap up the parade today. Uh, the police car, traditionally, they always come in and close the parade at the end because of um, safety reasons, for one. And for another, it's to signify that the parade is done. And we sure appreciate being here. We want to thank Nico's Taco Bar on Como one more time for allowing us to sit here on their beautiful veranda, smell the wonderful tacos as we get ready to wrap up today. And Lady J, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a it has been a lot of fun. Uh, camera one is down there, and we're going to wave at Walter Doan, who is uh, the longtime camera operator and lighting director for SPNN. He's behind camera for us. So we're going to wave at Walter. He's waving at us, which means we have to wave back at him. So we'll say thank you for SPNN, St. Paul Neighborhood Network, here in St. Anthony Park. So I'm Jackie Maddox, Lady J from SPNN, which is St. Paul Neighborhood Network. My co-host. Adam Granger, local resident, local ne'er-do-well. <laughs> and a, a longtime producer at SPNN as well. And an old programmer at KFAI. So we had a lot in common today we to did talk indeed. about. Been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, from Nico's Taco Bar on Como, uh, this has been the St. Anthony Park Parade for the 4th of July.